so uh, good evening hitesh uh, so th- this is your first mock interview yes sir okay theek hai fine uh, introduce yourself hitesh so my name is hitesh pande i am from halwani uttarakhand i have done my schooling from here halwani itself then i have completed my btech from 2016 to 2020 from government college in i have completed my mtech in civil engineering specialization in environmental engineering from 2021 to 2023 from iit udupi okay what are your hobbies you sir my hobbies is to sing and play acoustic guitar okay okay so since you have done mtech in environmental engineering uh, tell me a brief about your mtech project Uh, in my project, I I made a machine learning model actually to determine the inflow to the sewage treatment plant mm-hmm. through the separate sewer system. Actually, the in treatment work that even if we are providing the separate sewer system, the rainwater due to because these days what is happening is high entry rainfall is happening. But mm-hmm. either due to we are opening manholes for drainage or other or uh, one. There is a phenomenon as called deep infiltration, and so through infiltration, water is coming going inside the separate sewer system. So what is causing is it is flooding in the smallest STPs because we are focusing in decentralized water treatment. So mm-hmm. we are focusing on more building small scale treatment plant. But whenever this rainfall is happening, there is over flooding in those plants. The treatment is not done properly because the design procedure doesn't take the Rainwater into rainwater into consideration in the separate sewer system. Okay. So we designed an ML model to predict those inflows also. Okay, fine. So have you heard the term neural network? Yes, sir. What is it? So it is a deep learning technique, basically. Mm-hmm. So it uh, takes us put through a one activation machine. and it's so, can you please repeat yeah your voice is not audible properly please the neural networks is mainly a deep learning model deep mm-hmm. learning deep machine model it uses it takes our inputs and it passes through several activation functions are there mm-hmm. and then it produces the output it is the main basic outline of this okay. so what are your favorite subjects the uh, organics environmental transportation transportation also okay <clears throat> so tell me the difference between rigid and flexible payment sir in rigid payment we consider a load is transferring from by layer to layer and in flexible payment we consider it by grain to grain and we are considering soil the cross sectional view i am telling you the soil mm-hmm. subgrade sub base base and then surface while in rigid pavement there is no sub base only soil subgrade is laid in the pavement or concrete surface given and the bit the experiments have more while rigid pavement have more more life but the maintenance and maintenance also more required in the flexible pavement while in rigid pavement the maintenance requires less and the costing but the costing is more of rigid pavement okay check okay. it So, uh, so uh, suppose you have to uh, uh, like design an NH section, national highway section, okay? So, will there be some specific locations where will you provide the rigid pavement section, or you will pro- uh, try to provide the flexible section throughout? So, for rigid pavement, so for national highways, I guess flexible pavement are generally provided, but in the expressways were in expressways mainly the railways generally i don't know much in detail about it i'm just guessing um, okay theek no problem no problem so is there uh, any design uh, methodology different dif- what is the difference in the design methodology of these two sections can you tell do you know about this design methodology for rigid and flexible section so for rigid Payment, sir. We take into consideration the frictional stresses and the temp- warping stresses and the. So what is the very stress- first step in this thing? First step in this thing. Payment design. Okay, so no we problem. We will determine the 
the modulus of subgrade reaction modulus of subgrade reaction okay so Two soil investigation is your first step soil investigation is the first step yes sir uh, then so we will divide the properties of then we will according according we will design the design then we will choose the materials required accordingly based on the properties of okay, the okay fine 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 uh so next question is do you know something about soil stabilization yes sir so have you heard the term geo membranes yes sir geo membranes uh, uh, where are they used the geo membranes are made basically to prevent the water drainage in, inside and they can transfer the water to the or other other arrangement that we have done then water through it it so, doesn't uh, allow the water to penetrate uh, so the, uh, can you tell me some applications of this geo membrane where is it used practical applications geo membrane we can also we can use a landfill to locate collection to avoid the leachate collection mm -hmm. yes yes and and serve for slope stabilization in the along the hills so geo membranes are used for slope stabilization are you sure it is like water to the v poles yes it is pro it is provided basically near the retaining wall okay because yes. retaining walls may you acha okay i will come to the explanation part later on uh, next uh, geo cell do you know geo cells yes sir so they are used in the pay pay or subgrade and base layer base course layer to hold the pore segregation to it increases the strength of the pavement how does it look and like how does it look like So they are grids, geo cell. They are three D grids. They will be provided. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Yeah. Uh. So my next question is from you. Uh. Do you know under rim piles? Yes, sir. Uh. Which type of soil it is suitable for? So it is suitable for the expensive soil where they claim claim clay is or more or contain more mold material than I. Clay mineral, we can say. So why, it why? helps in avoiding the set more settlement. So it, it is generally a board. It it is generally board pile. It cast in situ. We board a hole and then make some expansion along that to uh, to provide door. To provide a uh, then we cast in situ. Okay. Okay. Next, do you know something about samplers? samplers to collect the soil sampler yes yes samplers yes sir. thin wall samplers thick wall samplers so uh, what type of samplers are there can you tell name of some samplers that you might have used have you seen them no sir i have not seen them but okay no problem uh, uh, draw a plasticity chart okay Uh, is it visible? Yes. 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 It is visible. Ha! Huh. It is visible. It so. Is put in a plow in liquid limit. Okay. ठीक है. You are right. Fine. Uh, next is uh, which type of waste are classified as hazardous waste? Do you know something about this? The hazardous waste can be to the the waste contain heavy metals, the industries, industry effluents. Okay. That can be and... heavy metal and mm -hmm. uh, the can, can biomedical waste be classified as hazardous waste? The biomedical waste are not classified as hazardous. Okay. 
ठीक है सो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ म्यूनिसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट ज so what are the terms okay. used to be not for the garbage and others rubbish or uh, you know these things types garbage of garbage and rubbish and others others than i okay, okay. Are no okay no problem so the company uh, in which you are looking for the employment produces this kind of waste are you aware of the waste produced in the refineries it will be mainly the effluent liquid in the Refined. Okay, so where does where does this waste go? How it is this waste managed? For treatment, there should be effluent treatment plants to follow the guidelines. Industries or you follow hmm. the guidelines. So you need to to certain amount in effluent treatment plant. Do you know the, some of the gu industrial guidelines for effluent of this uh, discharge? The guidelines, I do not remember. what is the what is the name of the agency that monitors this kind of waste disposal yeah who who provides these guidelines the cpcb maybe yes it's it's cpcb yes it's very good very good that is that was that is what i was expecting okay uh, so next tell me the difference between this aquifer and aquitard the in aquifer generally we aquifer is the in the soil it is mainly it is it has the geological formation which has high high permeability high porosity while aquitard it is no low porosity and low permeability what kind of soil is found in these two zones we are uh, in these two things geological formations uh, in aquifer really the permeability is it is high so we can expect sand and coarse coarse gravel and in aquitard in aquitard low permeability clays okay theek hai theek hai fine uh next question i will ask you again from the soil mechanics section what are the different types of failures of finite slope different type of okay sir so there is slope failure there is space failure and there is base failure when will they occur how can you predict that Uh, if the it is so if the b there is a inclination is if it is very high it is very high there will be spill and also there is depth depth factor is less than one there is depth factor we consider okay and if if beta is greater than three then depth factor is equal to one it will be two failure and if beta less now tell than me 50, uh, what are the different methods of analysis of finite slope The different methods there is Swedish um, method and there is Pellinus method for sea soil and there is friction circle method. And so, do you know any of this method in detail? Have you uh, done any of the finite slope analysis? I I have only read theoretical that the Swedish circle method divided into slices the way. Hmm. So oh, then, and what then happens? So for each slice, there is two resistance given. First one is due to cohesion, mm -hmm. and one resistance is due to the weight component that provides the. Then one uh, other weight component it provides the. Actually, it it of the. Okay, I am uh, asking you. Uh, uh, have you heard about the recent violent landslide? Recent, sorry, sir. Pardon. Why? Why are not landslide that occurred in Kerala? Are you aware of this? Kerala. I have only heard in news time, not in detail. Oh, uh, what was the cause of this? So you are not aware of this? Sorry, sir. Okay. I am. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, then my last question is: <laughs> What is theoretical oxidation demand? 
vertical oxidation demand is the order for if when we write a chemical equation hmm. the degradation then the oxygen required to degrade the degrade the organic matter it is known as vertical oxidation demand so so the organic the, matter can be biodegradable or non biodegradable uh, in vertical demand it will be biodegradable only i guess yes but no but not degradable also yes. because it is then cod so yes. what what how, what is the significance of the cod so because generally we find there is a relation that theoretical oxygen demand is all, always greater in chemical oxygen hmm. demand it's so it equal includes the it, yes it includes okay. biodegradable and non biodegradable ठीक है फाइन 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 दी योर इंटरव्यू सो ओके सो few observations that i uh, noticed during your interview uh, see uh, projects that you have told uh, you have a good knowledge of that okay so yes. including the other significant related things like your uh, neural network and deep, learn, deep learning so these things you know well okay i think it seems that you have just recently completed your mtech so you are aware of this in entire scenario okay so maybe if you are asked something about the environmental section then you can be able to answer well okay but the other subjects which you are mentioning as a favorite subjects you should have an idea of this at least because uh, design methodology for design and payment element at first uh, which type of code is used for irc 37 or whether it is irc 50. so what is the uh, code for this design you should know at first theek okay? hai then what is the procedure how do you estimate the traffic how do you des- design the thickness of the pavement these things i was expecting theek okay? hai uh and then the process also the dpi preparation the soil exploration and other things preliminary stages also that was important part of the research so you have to explain the overall process overall step by step process then the interview panel may think that this, this guy has a complete knowledge of the in and uh, around the things that he has studied okay so this plays an important yes. role so uh, this this is due to the fact that i think you have not revised these portions in thorough okay so whatever favorite subjects you are deciding just revise them in thorough okay Next, samplers name should you should know that split is true sampler, piston sampler, uh, then chunk sampler. What are these things? Just take a brief look over those. Geo cells was good. Geo membranes was also good. Geo membranes is generally provided between the layers of the pavement. Okay, uh, uh, this in in case of wooden pavement and near the retaining walls as well. So that uh, uh, near the V post, whatever the concept you are telling, that was good. Okay. Next is the Uh, biomedical waste cannot be classified as hazardous waste. It is a separate category of waste. This is good one. Okay. This uh, different municipal solid waste, rubbish, petrolable ashes, and then uh, uh, you should know these names. What are because as an environmental engineer, you know, since you have done MTech in environmental engineering, these kind of questions can be accepted from you. And what is the nature of the waste that uh, Indian oil uh, produces? To define these. Okay. Uh, when I was working in HPCL, uh, I had come across an article where HPCL was fined up to seventy eight crores for. uh this uh, poor management of the waste disposal okay they had disposed the waste in uh, in some uh, uh, pro- not in proper way and the cpcb has fined them okay and this fine was uh, like uh, this fine was uh, exceeded by 20% more they had charged 20% more fine because the company uh, as a pr- uh, proper psu is a broad reputed company having its members selected from different excellent backgrounds okay it shows that you being aware you have done the mistake that is why the fine was increased so the environmental concern is a prime uh, thing environmental safety and concerns are prime things in any industry and you should uh, at least what you can do is in, in the indian oil portal page there is a section called health safety and environment okay just go through this note down this thing health safety and environment report hse portal it is called so just go through this portal once you will have an idea of the environmental concerns that are being taken by this indian oil Uh, along with this okay. uh, you can also uh, look for the opportunities you will also get an idea of green energy steps methods that are being taken by iuc okay so read about that as well that part as well because uh, being an environmental engineer uh, you will be contributing towards a positive green energy okay next okay. Uh, cpcb fine uh, aquifer aquifer was explanation was good uh, i think you feel little bit nervous in explaining these points at least environmental engineer should be confident while speaking okay do not get confused uh, i see that you got confusing the, uh, theoretical oxygen demand and cod there was no point of confusion everything is clear uh, this oxygen is for this biodegradable and non-biodegradable both okay so yes. both of these oxygen are taken uh, combinedly give the theoretical oxygen demand 
if i had asked whether it is bod nbod or cbod then it might you might feel confusion but you should also take care of this point as well okay and read some current affairs as well uh, if you get a chance at least about the civil engineering aspects involved in whether it is by net lens by whether it is in the uh, derailment cases so what is the civil engineering behind this you should at least know so that the panel may think that you are aware of the things that are happening in and around you okay fine yes sure any questions sir what about the h question there the intro of uh, hr print uh, sorry sorry can you please repeat uh, your voice actually is not proper uh, i think there is either connectivity issue or mic issue tell repeat again mic issue maybe so i was asking the uh, whether the interview in iocl is mainly technical oriented or hr oriented because right now huh. it was only the mock was yes, properly yes. technical technical yeah so see uh, i always suggest Uh, that in IOCL the interview is mainly HR oriented. Okay, so what is your background? What why do you want to join us? So these kind of questions are asked. So first priority to prepare these things as well. Okay, I appeared for Indian Oil interview two times, 2022, 2023, both of this year. In 2022, my center was in Delhi, where I was asked purely uh, the HR questions. Only one technical question was asked. Okay, but when I appeared for my second time, when I was working in HPCL, and at that time I appeared in the IOCL interview at Kolkata. there the interview was mainly technical okay uh, from uh, uh, if there were 25 questions asked uh, in uh, speed uh, there were around 25 questions asked out of this 25 22 were of related to technical domain okay so it depends upon the panel if the panel has a civil engineer uh, sitting in front of you then he may ask the uh, technical questions in depth okay so but mostly there are chances that are, that are of hr based questions the reason being i am asking you the technical questions because you have to be prepared from every aspect okay you have to be prepared from every aspect your hr mocks will also be scheduled okay you can quite to contact to jayesh sir for scheduling your hr uh, mocks okay but uh, i will be taking the technical aspects more into consideration since you have to be sound at first in the technical domain okay meanwhile simultaneously you prepare for hr aspects as well okay any other questions no sir okay no problem thank you